What's going on everybody? Welcome to Beyond the Screen. It's your girl Jasmine. In this video, I'm going to be talking about Are You The One? Season 6, Episode 2. That's four. Two. Yeah. I have a lot of notes for this episode, but I feel like the only thing that really, really sums it all up is... What is wrong with these people? Particularly, Malcolm. Malcolm! Let's start there. Malcolm said that he feels bad about kissing Norris and that he's gonna rock with Dee Dee. That's what I have my initial connection with and I wanna change and I wanna be different and man and man and man. I look you feel like we should have some sort of counter for every time he changes his mind. So it's like, okay, I was proud of him. Yeah, rock with Dee Dee, get it, let's go. Norris seems like a hoochie, like Dee Dee seems like she really cares. Go with her, be smart. Speaking of hoochies, Jade is just nasty. I don't like her. <laughs> I can't picture her and Clinton together. I just don't, it just, ew. Like he seems like so chill and like, you know, he's the mama's boy and all that type of stuff. He can't take that broad home to his mother. No, I just, she's gross. All these weirdos get together and decide that they're gonna have a pirate booty party. Now Dee Dee takes her time getting ready for this party and Nerese decides that that's gonna be her opportunity to go sweep in on Malcolm because she wants to handle her business all sneaky sneaky. And just to show how conniving and sneaky she is, when she sees Dee Dee coming down the stairs after Malcolm's talking about how he feels bad and where's Dee Dee and da 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 Nuri sees her coming, grabs Malcolm's face and just bah! starts making out with him. Then he realizes that Dee Dee is, is behind him. So now he feels bad that he kissed Norris because he hurt Dee Dee. Now it's her first matchup ceremony and we kind of know where everything's going, right? They're these strong couples that are in the house and they're just so sure, so we know that everything's gonna go great. We had a couple surprises, which comes when there's love triangle situations, but Malcolm is of course the biggest one. He picks Norris at the matchup ceremony after her and Dee Dee kind of like go at it back and forth, kind of makes Dee Dee look stupid because she proclaimed that that was her boyfriend on national television and then didn't get picked at the matchup ceremony. That kind of sucks. It was interesting though to hear her say that Nuri's is keeping him the guy that he was and she wants to help him be someone better. And she's not gonna back off. We'll see how that goes. I think he sucks, but if she feels like he could be her match, that's part of the game, you gotta figure it out, but he's just lame. Oh my gosh, and I almost forgot, I totally owe you guys a big fat, I told you so, I told you, I told you, I told you, Juice, I told you, you told me. I told you, and them, I told you by default, cause you edit, but I told <laughs> all of y'all that Kiana was gonna be that crazy broad, and she is stood up at the matchup ceremony talking about no matter who my perfect match is, I'm going to be infatuated with Michael. Mm. I told you! <laughs> I told you she's gonna be that bra that messes it up for everybody. I, I told you guys. She, why? Why do you do that? I just, just let it, no. If he's not your match, you move on. That's what you do. And if you must stay with him because you're so convinced you guys are gonna be together, Play this game and do that when you leave. We're only here for some weeks. Be smart. I just don't, people act like they don't know what show they're going on. Like why are you making life so complicated? Get this money, play the game. You got two jobs. I'm stressed out guys and it's only episode two. I'm losing my voice over these dum-dums. It also made me happy at the matchup ceremony to hear that Clinton didn't like how Jada came for Uchi. I know that's not how you say her name. Y'all know who I'm talking about. But she's just so sweet and like docile pretty much. And then Jada's just like rah, 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 rah. And Clinton didn't like that. And I thought that was awesome. I was like, yay. There's hope in humanity and these dudes in this house. Hopefully Jada's not his match, she can go be with one of the hoish dudes. She can go be with Malcolm. Jada can have Malcolm. She gotta stay away from everybody else though. What tripped me about about Miss Uchi though 
was at the challenge, there were life goals that the women had picked and the dudes had to like shoot arrows and pop the balloon to do to reveal which girl that life goal belongs to. Uchi said become a real housewife. Now, I, like in real life or of Atlanta? Cause I do, what is a real house? Like, I just, I was confused. Like legitimately was like, is she trying to be on TV? Or does she really mean that she just, you know, that she wants to be a homemaker? I just, the real part threw me off. So I, I was, I was confused. But Shad ends up picking her. Alexis's was become a, a Playboy bunny, which, I mean, rest in peace, Hef. You know Hef died? Mm -hmm. Sad. Yeah, it sucks. And Joe ended up picking her, which I thought was cool. I like Joe and Alexis together. I feel like they meet each other's like bunny. I feel like Keith might be a little bit too serious for her. She's a bit of like a wild, child which she proved by like her and Joe throwing a table and making out despite Keith because he said he was gonna talk to Zoe, whatever. And I like Keith and Zoe. I hope Keith and Zoe end up being what's real because they're adorable. And then Jaleese who picked, is that how you say her name? I think that's how you say her name. Jaleese, they got weird names this season. Like, it's crazy. But you know what I'm talking about. Jaleese and Anthony, she wanted to um, be featured in Sports Illustrated and we wanted them to win so they could go into the truth booth because they're just all, oh, they're cute. We speak Spanish to each other and mm, they're like in love. We want to know if they're a match. You go into the truth booth, the episode goes off. Thanks, MTV. You're awesome. Kind of sucks. I want them to be a match because they're just cute. And then they'd be off into the right direction. And I just, I feel like having three perfect matches at the matchup ceremony is like a really good place to start. But looking at how these people are gonna act the rest of the season, I'm still not convinced that they're gonna clutch it out. Yeah, good first day, but like somebody said, problem is seven couples that think they were one of those three beams, it's like, it complicates the situation. If they can't learn to play nice, nobody's going home with any money. Let me know what you guys are thinking of this season so far. If you enjoyed this video, smack that like button. If you wanna see more videos from me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. As always, I love and appreciate each and every one of you. Until next time, God first, God bless.